art is the great equalizer in the world. It's a communal experience. Look at everyone gathered here today. There's so many people that have traveled in such faraway places to come here. It's something that everyone can participate in. Just keep in mind, singing is free. So I want tonight to be an example of that. That we're going to stand with this art and through hearing its messages contained in it, that the people in the Congo are not alone in their struggles. I still can't quite believe that, Peter, we were in Bukavu in November and December at the Bukavu Youth Action Center starting some of these art pieces, and now they're here in Canada. Now, this is precisely what we hope to achieve through Make Music Matters Music Enrichment Program, giving survivors of extreme sexual violence a chance to communicate their message through music and ultimately we stitch their souls. I just, you know, uh, everyone's been telling personal stories. I just want to point out, um, I have worked in, in the DRC and with ex-child soldiers, particularly in Goma. And they were absolutely catatonic from trauma until they heard music, until they got to sing a song about their rights as a child the rights to be educated, the rights to be loved, the rights to be safe. That woke them back up to be human again. And that is the only thing that worked. And I must admit, I spent months after that particular trip that every time I closed my eyes to go to bed, I saw their eyes. And it makes me continue my work today. 